All right, well, it's always a fun day to get parts in. So uh, order a lot of parts online, have to send a lot of parts back, but made a big mistake on the wheel cylinders as we alluded to in the part two episode. I got two of them to seal back up, guys. I couldn't get all of them, but uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and replace with all new wheel cylinders. We'll keep these uh, with the cars, like all the other original parts that we're, um, we're cleaning, taking off, evaluating whether we can use yes or no, up or down. Got the flywheel resurfaced. It's ready to go. So, got our new wheel cylinders. Hopefully we'll finish up brakes today. And uh, yeah, using that wire wheel, it's all good. Going with the uh, Ray Bestas here. Uh, you can see, you can tell the difference between a front and a rear. Uh, these are obviously the rears. Here's the new rear. That's what our front looks like as far as size and the work that has to be done, proportioning. But yeah, I like the way they look, all sealed up and ready to install. So re really like the Ray Bestas parts. Packaging is real good, quality looks unbelievable. Even comes with a new little crush washer for your uh, for your brake line fitting. It's gonna go in there. I know I'm gonna catch a lot of heat for painting those yellow, but I was all out of factory baby blue. So just want people to know I was in here and uh, let's get installed. So here's the problem with the uh, the bleeders. They're, they're not 3 8 they're not 5 16 they're not anything American. The only thing that really got on it, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, was a, uh, what was it, what was that, nine millimeter? What's, what's the metric? Come on, Ray Bestas, what's going on? Okay, finally gonna install the, uh, the new pickup tube. Filter sock on the other one was absolutely atrocious. This looks like pretty, pretty good quality, actually. Sending unit, she's, boy, she sounds good. Gonna use the old gasket. The old gasket look just, look at that. Great, uh, great usable gasket right there. Shouldn't take but a few minutes to reinstall that. And then we're gonna start pulling the exhaust off. Brand new, uh, brand new gas tank going in the 61 today. And uh, we're gonna start pulling off the, uh, the factory exhaust. Yeah, so the uh, drain plug for the new gas tank, we use the, the old, um, we use the old plug, but uh, I was thinking about thread taping it, but the, um, the plug itself is actually, well, it's real tight because guess what? The manufacturers of the tank decided, hey, let's paint the threads too. So I might have to run a tap, clean the threads, and then probably thread tape the, uh, the old plug. All right, welcome back. One of my favorite posters, James Dean. Got the brakes bled. Gonna be honest with you, I should have replaced those uh, crush washers that go up on the uh, uh, the master cylinder. Um, there's two of them. They're different sizes, but when you put the uh, the master cylinder on, the actual the block, the brass block that that squeezes up, you know, on that three quarter bolt. Put new crush washers on. Okay, had to order a set of those. Today we're out here doing the exhaust manifolds. Got some uh, ceramic high heat paint. Going to uh, wire brush all this. Wear safety glasses, guys, when you get the Death Wheel 5000 on. And uh, look here, day coats. Yes, we have day coats. Correct day coats for the, on both of these, for 1961. They're all there, they're all original, and we're gonna make them look new. So I've never seen this before, but it's, uh, On your own by hand because the death wheel 5000 won't be able to cut it. That's it. That's it. 
really interesting that they just let that go. Someone just said, that's ah, fine, send it. It's a, it's a big, huge amount of metal that was obstructing. So that's all about horsepower right there, boys. Yes, we just had to uh, port that out. And uh, it was just a real bad casting. I'm surprised somebody let that go. So whoever was working on the, uh, let's see, it would have been March um, 61, either on the, let's see, it would probably been the 10th, the 20th, 30th. Uh, I think that's third shift right there. And uh, it was supposed to be quality control in the manifolds. You know, we took care of it, boys. It's okay. So we're gonna try for best results here. I've painted these before, made a lot of mistakes. Um, actually, this product is uh, the Ceramic VHT. And uh, you can find that at local parts stores, you know, Riley, online, Amazon website, Evil Bay, whatever. Uh, but we're gonna, the areas that we couldn't hit, we're gonna, we're gonna use this kind of like as our degreaser, remove wax, which we're also gonna use a Scotch-Brite pad, but we want shiny metal everywhere. First coat is just a light coat. We're not gonna try to put a lot of material on. That's what it recommends. We're gonna shake this thing until the cows come home before we apply. And then we're gonna wait about 10 minutes after 10 minutes. We're gonna put some more material on. And that's all it takes. It's, it's uh, you don't want runs. You don't want a lot of buildup, uh, but you do want clean, shiny metal. And if you don't have clean, shiny metal, well, you're gonna have problems. It's gonna pop off and then you're gonna be in the touch-up game and scratching and tss, tss, while it's on the car and you don't wanna do that. So get yourself shiny metal and you'll have best results. Coming in with the brake clean, scotch Bright pad. Remember, this is just for any wax, grease, any other little fine buildup because if it's gonna pop, it's gonna pop in those areas that you didn't get clean. Okay, not really looking to try to put a lot of material on that first one. Just, you know, tss, 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 about 10 minutes we'll come back. We'll put a lot more material on. Laid really good. This is uh, the flat silver. I've tried flat aluminum in the past, like on my pick nine. I've tried flat aluminum. What was flat silver this time? I don't know why. I don't know why. Comment, like, suggest, whatever. I don't think that's really a factory look. I really wanted a cast iron. Uh, but they don't, you know, you gotta, you, you look and look and look and, hey, if you, find, if you find one, suggest. I know, go to Eastwood, spend $150 a can. I, I got it, I got it. Been a long day. Um, just little things, you know. Pulled the motor out of that 59 probably four or five times. You think you got this thing down to a science. Um, you know, it, it's, I don't know, it just might be my age. I, it, it just, uh, it took, it took twice the time. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm getting old, I guess. But anyway, she's free. Need to move some cars, obviously. Bring her on up and out. And uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Oh, just getting her out. Got the transmission unbolted. Going to try the little Eastwood car on the motor. I hope she's, she's pretty rickety, boys. I don't know if she's going to hold it or not.